Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Rosh Dhal. Let's look at today's top health news. Blood group of individuals linked to risk of having an early stroke. People with early stroke were more likely to have blood type A and less likely to have blood type O compared to people with late stroke and people with doubt stroke. Both early and late stroke were also more likely to have blood type B compared to controls according to a new meta-analysis led by University of Maryland School of Medicine researchers. The meta-analysis included all available data from genetic studies focusing on ischemic strokes which are caused by a blockage of blood flow to the brain occurring in younger adults under age 60. Findings of research were published in the Journal of Neurology. The study found that people with early stroke were more likely to have blood type A and less likely to have blood type O, which is the most common blood type compared to people with late stroke and people with who never had a stroke. Both early and late stroke were also more likely to have blood type B compared to controls. After adjusting for sex and other factors, researchers found those who had blood type A had a 16% higher risk of having an early stroke than people with other blood types. Those who had type blood O had a 12% lower risk of having a stroke than people with other blood types. The researchers emphasized that the increased risk was very modest and those with type A blood should not worry about having an early onset stroke or engage in extra screening or medical testing based on this finding. The researchers said that we still don't know why blood type A would confer a higher risk but it likely has something to do with blood clotting factors like platelets and cells that line the blood vessels as well as other circulating proteins, all of which play a role in the development of blood clots. Previous studies suggest that those with an A blood type have a slightly higher risk of developing blood clots in the legs known as deep vein thrombosis. The researchers said that we clearly need more follow-up studies to clarify the mechanisms of increased stroke risk. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.